Hey y'all, we did a video the other day for my northern contingent of the family where we barbecued some hot dogs. So this is going to be maybe the final episode of the barbecue stuff series that's not really barbecue. But today we're going to barbecue some hamburgers. So I'm going to mix them up. I think we're going to be able to get about four of them, maybe three. I'll show you how we're going to do it. And we're going to barbecue hamburgers on the Weber kettle grill. Let's get to it. All right. I have a pound and a half of ground beef. To be honest with you, I can't tell you what kind of ground beef. It's just ground beef. I think it's 85-ish percent lean. All right. So let's mix it up. I'm going to add my stuff to it. And we're going to make some patties. Okay, for seasoning, I'm going to use some... Lipton onion soup mix. I'm just gonna dump one pouch of that in there. Then I don't really feel like messing with the salt and pepper thing today, so I'm gonna put some butt rub in there. Maybe I would say that might be two tablespoons. All right, so we're gonna do that. So and then I'm also using Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Just dabble, 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 about like that. I expect that might be maybe a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. Let you do it to your taste. Now, I'm gonna dive my hands in here and I'm gonna mix everything up. got to be a little bit careful with the Worcestershire sauce because if you put too much, um, your hamburgers ain't going to hold together real good. All right, so now I got me one big old giant bowl of hamburger. We're not going to do that. Get my little plate over here. Let's see, I'm going to shoot for some half pound burgers. Uh, you can't see that because the light is horrible the way I'm doing this. So if, if I get half pound burgers, I'm going to get three burgers. And let's see how this goes. Now I'm shooting for cooking these burgers medium rare because they're good that way. All right, so. Okay, so that's where they are. That's what we got. We already got the kettle grill heated up. So let's get these burgers on the grill. Got my coals on the Weber kettle grill good and fiery hot. Let's put them in here. Now I'm going to take my coal spreader. Whoop. I'm going to do that. That causes me a lot of grief if I do that. Okay. All right, so I got my, all my coals. I'm going to pull them over here because I want a hot side and a cold side. Okay. Now, put my grate back on. Let it get good and hot. I'm gonna let that roll for a second like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my burgers. I'm gonna put a, a little bit off the heat onto the cool side because these are half pound burgers, All right? So I'm gonna set them there like that. I'm gonna put my lid on, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a slow cook on a hamburger. How about that? And there's still, it's 10 after six Eastern right now. It's not gonna take that long to cook them because I'm going medium rare. But I'm gonna leave them like this. Right now my temperature on the grill, I just put the lid on, it's good and hot. It's already up to 200 and climbing. All right, so we're gonna let them cook for a few minutes and then we'll flip them. See you in a little bit. All right, y'all, since we barbecue and hamburgers, we are gonna use the Kendra's barbecue honey hot. Got to have barbecue sauce if you're barbecuing. 
unless you're cooking brisket or ribs or Boston butt. But anyway, we barbecuing hamburgers. We'll check on them okay. in a minute. So I'm running the grill at 400 degrees. Now I'm just gonna do this because some of y'all will ask. Now I ain't even flipped them yet. They only been on here for 15 minutes. We're at 107. Okay, so the average is about 115. So I'm gonna flip them over because all I really want is a medium rare hamburger. Okay. Now, those look pretty good. We'll see how long it's gonna take to get to, I want them at 135 degrees. We'll see how long it takes. I, I needed to interrupt this barbecuing of the hamburgers to let y'all know that um, I'm, I'm a Thermapro affiliate and we're using the Thermapro Lightning to check the temperature of the hamburgers because we want to get them around 135 degrees, which I'm doing that for the video. Uh, when I'm grilling, I'm grilling. But we're barbecuing today, we're not grilling. So anyway, I'm gonna put a link to Thermapro down in the description. Use coupon code DBB15, Dennis's Backyard Barbecue 15, DBB15. You save 15% on anything you buy from Thermapro. Also, I'm gonna put a link to Amazon down in there. And everything that I'm using, you can get on Amazon. Uh, just use the, the link that I'm gonna, that I'll have in the description and you'll really be helping the channel. Other than that, I'm gonna put the recipe for the barbecued hamburgers down in the description, and that way y'all can see exactly how I did it. So without further ado, let's get back to our regularly scheduled video. Okay, so we've been 30 minutes on our burgers. How's that look? That look good? Now, to me, I'm saying them burgers are done. Okay? They're done. But, because we are in the world of the internet, we're going to stick them. All right, that's 145, that's 155, and that's 165. So, our burgers are done. Let's get these bad boys off the grill. It kind of looks like 400 degrees might be too hot if you're doing it for 30 minutes and you want a medium rare steak. We'll find out. Okay, the last thing we gotta do is toast our bun. So we're just gonna chunk that on there real quick. We'll tell you this, as I'm looking at my, what I hoped would be medium rare hamburgers, they're not, but they're gonna be good burgers. Okay, kind of like we did with the hot dog video. If we're gonna barbecue hamburgers, we need to put barbecue sauce on there. So I'm going with the Kinder's, the Kinder's Honey Hot. Now, Let's see how does a barbecued hamburger taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That barbecue sauce. I might start putting that on my eggs in the morning. That is some good stuff. Wow. You might say it's finger licking good. Wow. Well, okay, so that does it for my barbecue hamburgers. Um, it was really good. The, the whole recipe is good. And with that Kinder's, that makes it extra special. So Sue, Carl, Aaron, Pat, this is gonna be the last time I do one of these barbecuing things for you guys, y'all's Northern way. Um, now I'm gonna go back to cooking South Carolina way now. 
anyway, I hope you all you guys, by the time this airs, y'all will have had a happy Independence Day. And until next time I see y'all at the grill, y'all keep on grilling.